Ever wondered how scientists trace human ancestry? One way is through Y-chromosome alu polymorphism. But what is it exactly? Let's dive in. Y-chromosome alu polymorphism, often abbreviated as Y-app, is a fascinating field within genetics. Polymorphism, a term borrowed from Greek, means many forms. In genetics it refers to the occurrence of multiple forms of a gene or DNA sequence in a population. Meanwhile, alu elements are a type of short interspersed nuclear elements or signs which are abundant in the human genome. These elements named for their origin in the Arthrobacter luteus restriction endonucleus can insert themselves into new locations in the genome, creating variations. These variations, or polymorphisms, can then be traced across generations. The Y chromosome is particularly interesting because it's passed virtually unchanged from father to son, allowing a direct line of inheritance to be followed. So, in a nutshell, Y chromosome alu polymorphism is a genetic variation that helps us trace human ancestry. One of the most significant alu polymorphisms is the Y chromosome alu polymorphism, also known as YAP. Now let's delve into what makes the Y chromosome alu polymorphism or YAP so special. The YAP is a tiny piece of DNA known as an alu element that inserted itself into the Y chromosome of our ancestors around 65 million years ago. This random event marked a key turning point in our evolutionary history. Why is this small insertion so important you might ask? Well, the YAP insertion is like a genetic bookmark, marking a specific page in the long narrative of human evolution. This bookmark is passed down from generation to generation, from father to son, unchanged. It is a constant in the ever-changing story of our genes. This unique feature of YAP makes it an incredibly useful tool for tracing human ancestry. By identifying the presence or absence of the YAP insertion in different populations, scientists can work backwards and trace the paths our ancestors took as they migrated across the globe. The YAP insertion, in essence, is a genetic compass pointing us back to our roots, but the story of YAP doesn't stop there. Its presence in the Y chromosome also holds significance. The Y chromosome, unlike most other chromosomes, doesn't recombine during reproduction. This means that the genetic information it carries, including the Y app insertion, is passed down almost unchanged from father to son. This makes the Y chromosome, and by extension the Y app insertion, a kind of genetic time capsule. It allows us to peer back in time to see a snapshot of our genetic heritage as it was tens of millions of years ago. It is a window into our past, a tangible link to our ancient ancestors. That's why YAP serves as a crucial tool in genetic anthropology, helping us trace our roots back to our ancient ancestors. Now, let's delve into the world of haplogroups, particularly haplogroup DE. A haplogroup is, in essence, a genetic population group of people who share a common ancestor on either their paternal or maternal line. Picture it as a grand family reunion, where everyone is somehow related to that one common ancestor. In the context of genetic genealogy, these haplogroups help us trace our lineage and understand our ancestral roots. But why haplogroup DE, you may ask? Well, haplogroup DE is like the intriguing cousin at the family reunion, the one everyone wants to know more about because they seem to have an interesting story. That's because haplogroup DE is a crucial branch in the human family tree, and it's the parent of two major haplogroups, haplogroup D and haplogroup E. Let's start with haplogroup D. It's one of the most ancient and rarest branches of the tree, primarily found in isolated populations in Asia. Despite its rarity, it's a testament to the diversity and resilience of our species, a living record of an ancient lineage that has persisted through the ages. On the other hand, haplogroup E tells a different tale. It's the most common paternal lineage in Sub-Saharan Africa, and it's also found in many parts of Europe and the Middle East. This wide distribution speaks volumes about human migration patterns, hinting at a time when our ancestors roamed the globe, spreading their genes far and wide. Together, haplogroups D and E paint a fascinating picture of our human story, a tale of survival, migration, and diversity. They encapsulate the journey of our species, our triumphs and struggles, our shared history, and our unique paths. And it's all thanks to our friend haplogroup DE. By studying this group, scientists can uncover secrets about our past, learn about our ancestors, and understand how we've come to be the diverse and adaptable species we are today. This makes haplogroup DE a significant branch in the human family tree. But what does all this have to do with Africa? Well, let's delve into the African connection. Haplogroup E is a prime player in this story, and it's particularly prevalent in Africa. 
If we consider the distribution of this haplogroup, we'll find that it's most common in Africa but it also pops up quite frequently in the Middle East and even parts of Europe. Now this is where Y chromosome alu polymorphism or YAP comes into play. YAP is a specific type of insertion in the Y chromosome that's found in haplogroup DE. And guess what? Haplogroup E falls right under this umbrella, making it a YAP positive group. This genetic marker provides compelling evidence supporting the theory of an African origin of haplogroup E. It suggests that our ancestors carrying this marker migrated out of Africa tens of thousands of years ago, spreading this genetic signature across the globe. But let's not forget that these aren't just abstract concepts or cold hard facts. These are threads in the tapestry of our shared human story, threads that lead us back to Africa, the birthplace of modern humans. The prevalence of haplogroup E and the presence of YAP in this group give us a tantalizing glimpse into our past, providing a genetic breadcrumb trail leading back to our African roots. This supports the broader theory that modern humans originated in Africa before migrating to other parts of the world. It's all part of the grand narrative of human migration and ancestry, a story that's written in our very DNA. And so, as we trace these genetic markers, we're not just exploring abstract scientific concepts. We're journeying back in time, retracing the steps of our ancestors and discovering our shared heritage. It's a journey that takes us back to the very dawn of humanity, to the heart of Africa. So, it's through these genetic markers that we can trace our roots back to Africa, the cradle of humanity. Finally, what does all this mean for us today? The implications of Y chromosome alu polymorphism, or YAP, go far beyond just a fascinating history lesson. This marker plays a crucial role in our understanding of human evolution, migration, and even our health. YAP allows us to trace our lineage back through countless generations, helping us comprehend the complex web of human migration. It's like a time machine taking us back to a time when our ancestors were just beginning to explore the vast expanse of the globe. By studying YAP, we can piece together the roots they took, the challenges they faced, and the cultures they created all of which shape the world we live in today. Moreover, YAP isn't just about understanding our past, it's also about predicting our future. Certain Y chromosomal variations are associated with genetic diseases. For instance, specific YAP variations could be linked to a higher risk of developing certain conditions. By identifying these variations in individuals, we can potentially predict their risk and work towards personalized prevention strategies. This is where personalized medicine comes into play. Personalized medicine is all about tailoring medical treatment to the individual characteristics of each patient. The more we understand about our genetic makeup, the more accurately we can tailor treatments to our individual needs. YAP research could significantly contribute to this field, providing us with more tools to combat disease effectively. However, it's important to remember that while YAP can provide us with valuable insights, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Our genetic makeup is incredibly complex and YAP is only one of many markers that scientists are studying. To fully understand our past and predict our future, we need to continue exploring and understanding this vast genetic landscape. Through Y chromosome alu polymorphism, we not only understand our past but also gain insights into our future health and well-being. The story of YAP is far from over, and its implications continue to unfold, promising exciting discoveries for years to come. So there you have it. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of genetics, delving deep into the mystery of Y chromosome alu polymorphism, or YAP. This unique genetic marker found in the Y chromosome has provided crucial insights into our human ancestry. We've explored the significance of haplogroup DE, a major branch in the human family tree, and how YAP plays a crucial role in its identification. We've learned that YAP is not just a random genetic marker, but a key that opens the door to understanding our collective past. We've also touched on the African connection, underscoring the importance of this continent in the story of human evolution. The presence of YAP in Africa serves as a testament to its pivotal role in shaping the human genome. So next time you hear about Y chromosome alu polymorphism, you'll know it's not just a mouthful of jargon but a key to unlocking the mysteries of our human ancestry. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.